Little Scarlet plays with a coloring book that Border Patrol agents gave her. She and her mother are among thousands of families who were caught coming into the U.S. illegally. I am fleeing from extortion and death threats, says Kenya Pereira, who explains that those threats were coming from a criminal gang known as MS-13 in her native Honduras. But her attempt to flee is a danger in itself. The women and children we found at a bus station in El Centro Tuesday said they were led through Central America and Mexico by smugglers and then dropped off on American soil. After being caught by Border Patrol agents, they were detained in McAllen, Texas, and then flown into Yuma, where three buses drove them out to El Centro, where they were housed in another detention center. More or less like a prison, says Karina Revelo, only without showers and toothbrushes. Those are inconveniences, not like the looming dangers her child will no doubt remember as they sneak through Mexico to the U.S. They can kidnap you for ransom or they can kill you, she says. Meeting with these families firsthand makes one question, what kind of a psychological impact does a journey like this have on the children? Well, they're going to be traumatized. Well, what in the heck does that mean? That means that you basically lose faith in humanity. You no longer look at the world as a safe place. You, you lose the ability to have an expectation uh, to live in a world where there's law and order and there's, there's rules governing humanity. The illegal migration, capture and detention, Hart says, could cause lasting emotional scars if the kids aren't handled with care. The long-term impact is uh, one where individuals can learn not to trust, and in order to cope with that, uh, either avoid society altogether or attempt to manipulate society by refusing to follow normal rules of civilization. Pereira, who is headed now to Virginia, struggled to recall their last substantial meal. That was a week before we met up with them on Tuesday. And then each woman collected her tickets for the next bus ride. Reporting for ABC 5 News in Yuma, I'm Elisa Gamonian.